8 this morning, President Obama announced his choice to replace Antonin Scalia on the Supreme Court. Tracy Potts has the latest details on the nominee plus the reaction from Capitol Hill. President Obama announces D.C. Appeals Court Chief Judge Merrick Garland as his nominee for the U.S. Supreme Court. Judge Garland has earned a track record of building consensus as a thoughtful, fair-minded judge who follows the law. For me, there could be no higher public service than serving as a member of the United States Supreme Court. As a prosecutor, Garland oversaw the Unabomber and Oklahoma City bombing trials. He's been considered for the Supreme Court twice before, but not nominated. Garland would replace Justice Antonin Scalia, who died suddenly last month, leaving the court evenly split with four liberals and four conservatives. That's why this is so controversial. Senate Republicans say the next president should choose that deciding vote. They vowed not to even hold confirmation hearings. It seems clear that President Obama made this nomination not, not with the intent of seeing the nominee confirmed, but in order to politicize it for purposes of the election. This morning, the Senate's top Democrat urged them to consider the president's nominee. He's doing his job this morning. The Republicans should do theirs. Judge Garland, a moderate Clinton appointee, has a two-decade track record for Republicans to pour over. That could hurt him. But the last time he was confirmed, 32 Republicans supported him. President Obama said that Judge Garland will be on Capitol Hill meeting with lawmakers one-on-one -on -one tomorrow as well.